can get this cap off. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great, eh, pumpkin? <laughs> you're so pretty, pumpkin. Um, I have a tortoise. That's a weird way to start the video, but that's kind of what the video is about. I'm gonna go through this kind of vlog style. Open it casual here. Man, it is toasty. That's nice. I haven't felt that in a while. Okay, come on. Yeah, anyways, it's a tortoise. I have a tortoise. Eats a lot of lettuce and then a lot of tortoise food, which is just like prepared diet, mostly dried grass. But what I like to do is make sure that I have an abundance of lettuce to feed the tortoise. It's more of a treat. It's a sulcata tortoise, grassland tortoise. It would be nice if I could have her in the video, but lo and behold, she's decided to go and sleep under the parrot cage, which is a really hard place to dig her out from. So for now, we're just gonna have a little talk over here. I'm just gonna do some stuff, gonna plant up some lettuce and keep it simple. I have, they're a little dirty, but I have a couple of these shallow containers here. It's what I'm going to use because they're just right about the right size for the tortoise to be able to eat off of. I just opened this bag of potting soil and there's a ball of roots in the bag. That's fine, I'll use it. And then there we go, lettuce, look at that. Pretty simple. And I figure this isn't really gonna be like a how to grow lettuce kind of video. I guess we can talk about it a little bit, but what I'm doing here isn't really typical of what you would do to grow lettuce. Not really typical at all, but it is one way that you can plant it and grow it. If you grow lettuce to harvest off of, and you're not just trying to grow it for the great big heads, then you can actually plant them pretty close together without much problem because you're gonna be harvesting off of them frequently. You're seeing red romaine and green romaine. Uh, there's a, I think a store moving in here. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stretched out red romaine. I'm gonna come in here and pop in some stretched out green romaine. And I also have some snapdragons I'm gonna kind of tuck in here. These are also edible. The tortoise can chow down on those as well. If you can't, I'm not going for something pretty. It, it's for it's for a tortoise. I don't think it needs to be like that aesthetically stunning. Uh, let's go ahead and water this in and that's basically done. Like I said, it's not really supposed to be pretty. This is really just more about utility. It's definitely a lot of plants for this little pot. Like I said though, if they're being harvested off of frequently, meaning like pulling some leaves weekly, that's okay. If we were to be growing these out into like actual head lettuce, then I would definitely want them to be a minimum of six to 12 inches apart really but I don't, that's not gonna be necessary. The tortoise will, I mean, could devour this entire thing, all of these plants within a matter of minutes. So like I said, I don't don't really need to worry about that. Push the button the wrong way, oops. May be able to see, oh, <laughs> hi tripod, you don't wanna behave today? There is a uh, head back here that is, wow, the soil's not draining very quickly. That could be a problem, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. So you can see like with little pieces like this where they don't even wanna stand up, I'm even just gonna cut this stuff off of there. That's just gonna help the roots kind of stretch out and get a little bit healthier there and then I can go ahead and feed this to the tortoise right now or whenever she decides to come out of hiding. There we go. Man, things are really easy when you're not trying to make them pretty. It turned out there was like a little clump of mud down there in the bottom. I went ahead and pulled that out and it started to drain just fine on its own. So lettuce doesn't have very deep roots so using a shallow container like this is just fine. It's not going to hurt them and uh, that's better for the tortoise. So I can just set this on the ground when it's time for her to go ahead and have some. She can eat away at it, be keeping it up where she can't get to it. I'm gonna do two more of these. They're not the exact same pot, but the same principle. And that way, like once a week, I can set one down, she can munch off of it, and there will be a rotation of these edible planters for her to eat out of. She eats a lot of things, hibiscus, cactus. I have a ton of pansies over here that I got just for her and uh, one of my other animals. And I don't see how I would possibly work those into something like this. I don't think I need to though. So the way that should work out with three different planters is about every other week, they'll be getting munched down and then they'll regrow and it'll work out just fine that way. And she'll always have a fresh supply. It's not gonna be enough to like get her by. It's more just like a treat. They eat a lot. I mean a lot. If I were to feed her nothing but lettuce, she would probably be eating, I'd say, 15 heads a week of romaine, which I don't let her do. She doesn't get that much a week. She, like I said, mostly grassland type pellets, prepared food, dried grasses and whatnot. But uh, still at least two to three times a week, she does get a little bit of lettuce. Helps keep her hydrated. She enjoys it. She's a very picky eater when it comes to pellets. So I'm still kind of trying to get her transitioned over to being more accepting of dried foods, grassland type foods. That's what she should be eating. But during the summertime, this is just perfect because I can 
pick it up, set it down on the ground for her. When she's done with it, I can pick it up and move it away. And because lettuce is a cool season plant, it's a cool season crop, when it gets really hot out, which actually kind of like today, it wasn't the ideal weather to be planting these in, but storms are about to roll in and last for a few days, so I wanted to get this done. But when it gets warm out, I'd say really above the 80s, low 80s, I can take these and scoot them into part shade and they'll do okay. Lettuce can go into part shade and be just fine, so that way I'll be able to keep it growing during the heat of the summer. Hopefully, if not, then I'll just let her go ahead. If it looks like it's gonna bolt, she doesn't care, it's a tortoise. She can just go ahead and chow down on it. Yeah, again, isn't that pretty? But it's not really supposed to be. Lettuce is a great plant for beginners if you're new to seeds and stuff like that. You can just scatter seeds on the surface of a pot and just barely cover them with soil and let them do their thing. As long as temperatures are nice and cool, then it'll get going for you. If you have them in a container, then you don't have to worry as much about the heat, because like I said, you can take them from the sun over into the part shade where they'll be shaded at least in the afternoon from the heat, and they'll do a lot better for you that way. Where I live, it's way too hot to grow lettuce out in the sun during the heat of the summer. It wouldn't do well. And since the romaine and a lot of other lettuces can do just fine in part sun to part shade, there's no reason to even have to worry about it. As long as they get their afternoon shade, they'll be okay. And as long as this is getting trimmed off of and it cut back in some way, shape, or form, I'd say weekly to every other week, they can be nice and crammed together like this. They'll be okay. Yeah, not the prettiest thing I've ever done, but like I said, that doesn't really matter. I don't think Colby's going to care. I do wish she would have come out. That would have made this video a lot more exciting if the tortoise were actually in it, but... Like I said, she's sleeping, she's hiding somewhere. So yeah, this is something I probably should have gotten to about a month or so ago so that this lettuce would have time to root itself out and be sturdy. If I set this down on the ground right now for Colby, then if she goes in and tries to take a bite, she's gonna rip the whole plant out. So they're going to have to root in, so it'll be a couple weeks until she can enjoy these, but that's okay. The weather's still like really bouncing over the place. It's 82 right now, and there's a low of like 44 in a couple of days. So things are just weird here the, the weather's all over the place so she's not really outdoors much yet anyways but in a couple weeks by the time this is rooted out she'll be outside daily and then within a month or so she'll be out here pretty much full time i'm going to set her up with like a little pin sort of thing and a shelter where she can sleep in at night time she's big enough now that she can be out here overnight i don't think any predators will be able to get to her but part of having her outside this year is going to be that i want her to start to recognize basically what's edible and what isn't that doesn't matter to a tortoise if she wants to eat it she's going to eat it but i have been working with her over like the last year she eats usually off of a blue pad a blue circle so that when she comes outside she knows where to go to get her actual food versus when she's walking on grazing she's welcome to graze i don't use any chemicals in the yard or anything like that so it's totally fine but this way it's more directed i can set this on the ground and she'll go hey that blue thing looks kind of familiar that's food. And then uh, sulcata tortoises, they're very piggy, so chances are that won't even be an issue, but she's kind of a weird eater for a tortoise, so that's why I've been doing things that way. By weird eater, I mean she's a very picky eater for a sulcata tortoise. It's taken a lot of work to actually get her to have a varied diet. It's, it's been a thing. She's a weird one. So here's kind of the first step in that. I figure since this will probably be something that's in the vlogs throughout the year, then I should just do a quick little video of what that's all about when you see these random round planters sitting in the middle of the patio. That will be why it's because I've set them out for the tortoise. Maybe I'm vlogging on a filming day, something like that. I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to just do a pointless video, just planting some lettuce and talking a little about the turtle and the food and whatnot. And maybe you'll be inspired to plant up some lettuce. An off of, well, how would you call that? An often harvest lettuce? No? a frequent harvest lettuce. Uh, if you want to plant some lettuce where you're not waiting for it to grow to a head, this is the way to do it. You can cram them together, they'll be okay. As long as you're pulling those leaves off all the time, it'll be fine. And I did use an all natural organic soil that is very moisture retentive, and that's okay because I'm not actually gonna have these anywhere where they're near my drip irrigation, so that'll be better for me, especially in a shallow container where that soil is gonna dry more quickly. That's good, and I won't have to worry about chemicals or anything like that within the soil getting into the foliage or anything like that. It's going to stay safe. I do have to make sure that I keep it up on the walls. I have like walls up around my hot tub area. That's what I mean by that, because if this is on the ground unsupervised, I'm pretty sure my dogs will eat this too. Labradors don't really discriminate. If it's edible, they'll go for it. If it's not edible, they'll go for it. And Toby 
wherever he is. Where's Toby? There he is. Hey, Toby. What you do? You're real gross. Never mind. Go away. Just kidding. He's always stealing food from the tortoises. So I like being able to pick this up and move it around. So that's another thing I won't have to worry about. What are you guys planting for your house tortoise? Comment down below. Let me know. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. It's fine. There's a lot of stuff out here for Colby. The hibiscus, the pansies, the snapdragons, the lettuce, mainly grass. Also, I mean, that's the primary thing. And um, cactus. Loves cactus. I'm trying to get some dandelion greens going. And that's that way I don't have to go to the store, basically, and buy food very often. And then the maintenance diet is just uh, Missouri pelleted grassland tortoise food. Okay, that's all. Done being weird for now. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, Tuck, you gonna say hi? Kinda? Okay, sorry for bothering you, Tucker. All my social media link down below. If you like the video, give it, leave it a thumbs up. That'd be great. Subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. I'll try and get the rest of these finished up and place during the vlog that'll be out. I don't know, a day or two after. I don't know when I'm gonna release this video, but probably in like a day or two. As always, and most important, gosh, this looks so bad. It's fine though. It really is fine if it, this is a little bit stretched out, but like I did with that one, I can take the scissors and cut that like 50% of the way. It'll be okay. It'll fill back out. I'm not that concerned about it because like I said, it's for a tortoise. Yeah, as always and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye. Bye.